My dear friend Darren from Birch and Purchase is here and we're going to be making a fantastic cake. What have you got in store today? Oh, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. It's a pumpkin seed olive oil and lemon cake. Oh, I so love these types of cakes. If you could um, add the eggs to the mixing machine with the sugar and we're okay. just going to beat those up. Two whole eggs and one yolk. Correct. And it goes and good old caster sugar. Yeah, and we're going to give those a couple of minutes just to thicken up so they're nice and pale and smooth. And while that's on, I will sieve this flour. Okay. So just plain flour plain there. Plain flour mm -hmm. and baking powder mm -hmm. and a little bit of cinnamon. It doesn't have much flour at all in this recipe. Uh, it's not. It's super light. Yeah. The eggs really make this quite light. It doesn't need yeah. um, all the rising agents. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, it's a really simple just kind of all-in mm. cake batter. I'm just yes. going to sieve these, get them nice and light and airy. All right, let's have a look at these eggs. Are you happy with that, Des? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Nice, thick and pale. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Next, we're going to slowly add in the milk. OK, I can do that. I'll just put that on a lower speed. So really super simple, this, but just kind of chucking everything in at the top. And why don't we add the milk slowly, slowly? So if you just add that milk in slowly, you're going to keep some of the volume of the eggs. OK, Juzzy, if you yes. can just add the dry ingredients in slowly. OK. I love this combination of cinnamon, pumpkin seeds. Yeah. Very nice. Delicate flavours, you know, nothing too overpowering. Not too much cinnamon, it's just there in the background. Yeah. So it really is a nice, delicate, fragrant cake. We're going to add those pumpkin seeds in next through the top. We've just crushed them up um, in a blender. You could chop them by hand if you don't have a blender. It's going to be a beautiful pastel-coloured cake. Yeah, it's beautiful. Excellent. Done. Awesome. All right. Have a look. Let's have a look. OK, wow, look at those nice mm. green flecks. Um, if you could maybe zest a lemon, uh, the lemon zest inside, and it's beautiful, fragrant flavour. I love zesting uh, citrus straight into the bowl so you capture all of those essential oils. That's right. And we're nearly done now, so we're going to place the lid back on and we're going to add in some olive oil. And we're using a light olive oil today, so nothing too grassy, too overpowering. OK, um, why is that? It's just flavour-wise, yeah. so I, I like to use um, a lighter style extra virgin olive oil um, for this cake just purely because of the flavour. Okay. It's not too overpowering, but it's an awesome background flavour and it goes really well with the lemon. It's going to keep the cake really moist too. Absolutely, yeah. All right, in it goes. In it goes. Awesome. How easy was that? That's it, done. That's it, we're done. <laughs> And we're going to grab this baking tin now and we've just lined it with greaseproof paper and we're just going to pour the batter in and place it into the oven. It's going to take between 20 to 25 minutes. All right, the cake has come out of the oven. It's cooling. Next stage is, Daz. Well, finishing touches, really. Um, I'm going to work on some candied pumpkin seeds. Mm. So I'm going to add some water to a saucepan okay. and add some sugar and bring that to the boil, dissolve the sugar crystals, and then I'm going to add some pumpkin seeds. Mm. Perhaps you can work on the lemon icing. Sure. So if you could just get some lemon juice into this old school icing and mix it to, a, I guess, a thick consistency. So I guess the trick is not to add too much of the lemon juice at the beginning. That's right. So just add a small amount of liquid, then give it a mix with a spoon and then see where we're at and then we can always add more, but you can't take it out. OK. Little by little. Yeah. And a little more. This is proper old school as well. So I love oh. icings like this. It's just... It brings you back to childhood, so it really is delicious. Absolutely. And it is... It's all it needs because the cakes are here, so you don't want to overdo it yeah. with a big, thick frosting. Exactly. And... You can see that it's just slowly absorbing that icing sugar. More? Okay. Yeah, Jazzy, I think you need a little bit more. While you're doing that, my syrup is boiled, so I'm just going to add the pumpkin seeds. And this is a really simple garnish for our cake. We're going to cook the seeds for about a minute, and then we're just going to drain off the syrup and bake them in the oven 180 degrees until they're golden and crispy. Mm, a lovely addition to this cake. Yeah.
cakes. Seeds are out. They're nice and crunchy. Ooh, Check yes. that out. Really great on salads. Mm. OK, we're going to finish this cake. So, Juzzy, if you could demold that cake Andy. and then perhaps I will ice it using this amazing icing that you've done. Perfect consistency. Oh, good. I was worried I was going to put too much lemon in there. <laughs> and this cake, well, this is why you need that baking paper. Extra yeah. assurance. No problems at all. Straight onto that decorative cake stand. Perfect. Okay. All right. Let's get some of this delicious icing on top. I'll put it in the middle first and then I'll use a palette knife to just kind of spread it around. That's how easy it is to make, it's just a simple easy. icing. Yeah. Two ingredients. Two ingredients only. It's absolutely delicious. Um, you've added the right amount of lemon juice there, so it's not going to kind of just go all over the place, mm. but it will level out eventually. Yep. I'm just using a palette knife just to push it to the edges. There's such a pleasure involved in watching it all come together right at the end. Exactly. And of course, eating it. <laughs> yeah, no, well, it's going to be delicious. So yep. um, next, pumpkin seeds on top. Okay. And we're just going to break a few on there. There we go. And look at that bright green, shiny. It looks really vibrant, so fresh. And I think just to finish, mm -hmm. we'll get a little bit more lemon, maybe zest that on top of the cake, just for some freshness. There you go. Speckles of lemon, not too much. Perfect. All right, let me cut a slice for us. Oh. Looking forward to seeing the, <laughs> the texture of this one. Yeah, it's going to be a good one, I think. Bring this over there for you. you. Thank you. Oh, right, look at that. It's look. super moist, you can tell. I think it's that um, olive oil, which yes. has given it that great consistency. But I guess the proof of the pudding is in the eating, so mm. should we dig in? Dig in. Is it, like, bad form to just go straight down the centre like that? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Super lemony. Really crunchy. It's perfect with a cup of tea. I just love this cake. Pumpkin seeds. Yeah. In a cake like this is just exceptional. The best thing about it is it's so simple to put together. This cake is full of simple ingredients, but it's delicious. Cheers, Daz.